Good morning, welcome to today's vlog. I wasn't planning on filming, but I was planning on going to one of my favorite crystal and fossil stores today. So I thought I would take you along because I get requests to do more crystal shopping videos all the time and I know that you enjoy these. So why not pick up the camera and vlog today? I am just getting ready for the day. I have laundry going, so if you hear that, that's what it is. My partner Ashton and I are going to go to one of our favorite fossil crystal spiritual shops in Minneapolis and Uptown today. It's the ZRS Fossil Store if you're familiar. I vlogged going there before. Last summer with my friend Bennett, we went there for the first time. My partner Ashton and I have also gone there. He really likes fossils. I really like crystals, so it's a win-win. And he is off of work. He owns his own tattoo shop in Minneapolis, which by the way, if you're in the area and you want a tattoo, definitely reach out to my boyfriend, because he is the best. I'll link his Instagram down below and then you can book a tattoo consultation through his bio. This wasn't supposed to be a promo for him, I promise, but he works a lot. So we never really get the chance to go to this crystal store when it's open, but he had a few cancellations today and it's beautiful outside. So it all works and we're gonna go crystal shopping. I'm so excited. We're just gonna do a casual vlog and see what we can find. It is a really beautiful September day. It's like in the 60s and sunny today. We don't have many days like that left. If you're new here, I post a lot of spiritual content. I actually have a playlist. So if you wanna see every single spiritual video, video I've made, all the crystal shopping videos I've made. I've got a crystal collection tour of my whole house. I have a spiritual wellness room in my home as well and I have a full video on that. I'm gonna link that playlist down below so if you wanna check out all of my other spiritual videos, you can find them easily. I also do like crystal shops in different states and cities. I'm trying, it's like a very expensive video to pull off. But I do have like best crystal shops in Florida, Minneapolis. I go crystal shopping in Arizona. I wanna do more. I just don't have the production budget to be traveling like that quite yet, but eventually. And then of course I have a ton of vlogs of shopping in Minneapolis where I'm from, because it's easy. I also plan on doing a lot more crystal and manifestation videos this winter. They're in my YouTube like notebook. I've got all the videos down. I just have to like organize them. I'm gonna do videos all about manifestation, my best ways to manifest, crystals that are best for blank, and the classic crystal shopping vlogs like this one. So there's a lot of content coming. Please subscribe if you are not already. And I also post a lot of spiritual stuff on my Instagram story. And I always mention when it's like a full or new moon or a certain ritual or fall equinox, like all that info, I like to post on my Instagram stories. But that's kind of the lowdown. My channel has a little bit of like everything on YouTube because there's so much I want to make. So many different types of content intrigue me, but spirituality is a huge part of my life. I love crystals. I own hundreds of them. I think I had people count in my crystal collection video and someone said it was like 400 crystals. So definitely check that out, but I'm so glad you're here. Let's get this day started. I am so excited. This is one of my favorite little ribbed tanks and then my favorite little mushroom necklace. This is rose quartz and it's great quality. So I'm gonna link this necklace down below. It comes in jade, clear quartz, rose quartz, amethyst, and then one more, I believe. And it's only like 20 bucks so highly recommend i've got that affiliate link for you but that's the fit let's go i changed a little bit after i ran some errands i'm all ready to go we're gonna grab ashton and then head to ZRS Fossils, which is such a fun crystal and fossil rock store they've got it all i'm so excited let's go crystal shopping
few days later, I'm back at home. I spent the weekend doing awesome, fun things with my partner, Ashton. We went to the top of the Fauché building in downtown Minneapolis, which has a ton of local history behind it, which I've always been so fascinated about. So we went to that museum and the observation deck. Then there was an escape room nearby, so we did that. The next day, we went antique shopping in Excelsior, Minnesota, which was so fun. And there was even a cat that lived at one of the antique shops. So it was like the best day of my life. So I haven't really been able to vlog since we got back from the crystal shop the other day, which afterwards we ended up grabbing dinner at Nico's Tacos, one of our favorite places in Uptown for tacos and tequila. And then one of Ashton's friends was performing at one of our favorite speakeasies in Uptown as well. So we went there and oh my God, it kind of felt like La La Land. It wasn't even full jazz. It was more like upbeat or like trumpet music, but it was still like, I felt like I was in La La Land for a little bit, just like with the live music in this little basement speakeasy. It was so fun, such a good night. But I wanted to show you what I picked out from ZRS Fossils. So Ashton has a lot of big fossil pieces at both of his apartment and his tattoo studio. So he was looking for really big, more expensive pieces. And I am kind of maxed out when it comes to crystals. Like I have a lot, they can get expensive pretty quickly. So I didn't wanna spend too much, but I think I have some photos. So Ashton purchased a huge amethyst geode that was beautiful. I really love the type of crystals that look like rock on one side and then has the exposed inside part. There's literally one right here next to the camera, but this is from ZRS Fossils as well. He got a really big one where the back looks like a rock, but then the inside is this beautiful amethyst. He also got citrine. Well, they labeled it citrine, but I'm pretty sure it's just heated amethyst because it's super, super orange. And if you know anything about crystals, citrine specifically, you know that real citrine shouldn't be bright orange. It should be this really light color. Even this could be heated amethyst. I've gotten a lot of comments from people saying they think this is heated amethyst. I've also heard that real citrine is a bit rarer and more expensive. All of that in mind, I'm pretty sure the other piece was just heated amethyst as well, but it's beautiful, it's stunning. And then he and I both got a crystal. I was so drawn to this beautiful piece of celestite. I love celestite. It's one of my favorite new crystals that I've really connected with this last year. Celestite is an awesome stone that helps you connect with your spirit guides, your higher self, higher power, psychic abilities. It's really calm, a really awesome stone to have if you want more of a peaceful presence, but it's great for meditating and really delving deeper into a more spiritual side. It's a very spiritual angelic stone, similar to angelite, and I love the color. One of my new favorite stones this year is Celestite. Look at how she sparkles. So I instantly fell in love with the slab and then Ashton saw a very similar piece of Celestite that looks more like an egg and he got that one. This is the one and only crystal that I got. I've been putting it right here on this bookshelf for now, which I want to redo this level because I don't really like how it looks, but I haven't figured it out yet. I love this shelf. I love how this shelf turned out. This one needs some work, but for right now, I've got this beautiful piece of celestite right here. All these other pieces are from ZRS Fossils as well. You can see the label, but this is Larry Marr. I got this sand dollar from ZRS as well as this little starfish. This is actually picture Jasper. That's where the crystal is right now. I feel like I mentioned this in the video already, but it's been a while since I've been to ZRS Fossils, so it's super fun to be able to explore what they have right now and pick out a new crystal. And it was such a fun little date day with Ashton. I'm so happy that he loves fossils and rocks and is open to learning about crystals. And he bought two huge crystals, like dream partner right there. <laughs> Could you imagine me with anybody else? I don't think so. Making crystal vlogs are some of my favorite types of content to make and I have a lot of notes, ideas, and plans to make more spiritual videos soon. That was Marnie, if you saw that. Every time I go crystal shopping, I plan on vlogging, but there's so many other types of content that I want to make regarding crystals, how to use them, spirituality, manifesting. I have so many techniques to manifesting that has worked for me for years and I mentioned it here and there, but I have pages and pages of notes on like 
everything I want to mention in a video. I kind of just have to bite the bullet and like organize it and try to get that filmed. But this winter when I am hibernating in my home here in Minnesota, I am going to make so much content. So please, please subscribe so you do not miss it. I don't share it enough. I never feel like I share it enough on social media. Everything that I do in terms of spiritual stuff and that side of me, which sucks because it is a big part of my life and I do want to talk more about it. Switching sides because the lighting the lighting was horrible. But even the other day, I went to the Minneapolis Institute of Art with a friend. I feel like I filmed this, but maybe I just shared it on Instagram, which by the way, follow me on Instagram, but the MIA gift shop had this huge book on tarot. Look at how beautiful this is. It's the Library of Esoterica Tarot. It's a series. I'm gonna link it down below because I found it on Amazon for half the price that it was at the museum. So I highly recommend getting it online. I have a few books on tarot and I know tarot very well because I've been reading for like seven years, but there's always room to learn more. And what I love about this book is that it takes each card and like goes into depth, shows you so many different variations on what the card can look like, talks about all the art. It's from an art museum. So they do highlight more of the art behind the cards and it's super fun to read and look at. I love this book. I've been meaning to share it. It's been on my coffee table because I've been reading it for fun. I will link this down below if you're curious. The series also has a book on plant magic, astrology, witchcraft. I think that's it. I wanna get the full series. I'll link those down below. I also really wanna make more videos, like I said, on manifesting because there are so many different ways to go about this. I've shared a little bit here and there, but you may know that every single new moon, I write a letter to the moon, to the universe, and ask the universe basically for what I want, which is manifesting. There are certain things that kind of become like a habit or ritualistic during this. And part of that is like lighting a certain candle that symbolizes the new moon or a full moon. I wanna talk about these more in a full dedicated video on how I manifest because I think they're awesome. I wanted to show you what this company sent me, a new moon manifestation candle. So it says intention setting, a full moon candle. There's a lot of different things that I do on a full moon versus a new moon. And now I have dedicated candles for both. And then they also sent over this gratitude appreciation meditation candle, which I think is great. I don't think I've ever talked about this, but I always write lists of things that I'm grateful for in my journal. And I feel like this would be a great candle to light when I'm doing that practice. Also, it's just so perfect for the season of fall with Thanksgiving coming up. This video is not sponsored at all, but the company did send me these as gifts. So I wanted to share them and say thank you and let you know about them because they are an awesome idea. And if you are new to manifesting, I highly recommend dedicating a candle that you already own or one that you go out and buy that's like used solely for that type of manifestation. I'm going to link all of these candles down below as well if you want to use these also on the back it says like i set my intention of which is good because a lot of candle divination and manifesting involves like writing on the candle wax but we're gonna get into that in another video i just wanted to show those candles because i'll probably mention them again in a manifestation video but i didn't want to wait months before being able to show you them so huge shout out to magnificent 101 for sending over these candles they've got awesome products on their website but thank you so much for going crystal shopping with me and ashton in this video i had so much fun taking you along to our favorite crystal shop well our favorite rock shop i do have a few if you've seen my other crystal videos here in minnesota i've taken you to all of my favorites in the twin cities area and i hope you're as excited for more spiritual content as i am please comment down below if you have any other video ideas that you want me to cover in terms of spiritual stuff crystals manifesting all of that i also have a spiritual playlist on my channel that has every single crystal meditation manifesting video that i've already made in that playlist so i will link that down below I highly recommend checking out those videos when I first introduce you to my favorite crystal shops here in Minnesota. I also take you along to Arizona and Florida to check out those crystal shops. But I had so much fun and I cannot wait to share more spiritual videos with you soon. Trust me, the list of videos is very long and I cannot wait to make them. So be sure to subscribe, be on the lookout for new content and follow me on Instagram because I'm always sharing stuff live time over on my Instagram stories about crystals and manifesting, journaling, it's all there. So hope to see you soon. Bye.